Here's a look at the Nags Head Fishing Pier. Now it's tough to tell, but about 75 feet of the pier washed away. And part of another iconic pier washed up on this Nags Head Beach too. We've got a look at the damage on the north end of the Outer Banks tonight. I'm Andy Pride in Nags Head, North Carolina, in the heart of the Outer Banks. Dorian is gone, but he left a trail of destruction, including knocking down 12 of these utility poles alongside a major roadway. And not far from us, damaging a very popular tourist destination. As soon as they heard it, they rushed to see it for themselves and to take pictures. This has been a landmark for how many years? It's sad to see the destruction. The Avalon Fishing Pier in Kill Devil Hills, once 700 feet long. But after Dorian swept through, a little less. It looks like part of the end is off. 100 feet of the pier is missing. 100 feet? Yeah, that's what it looks Definitely. like from here. It's not known how much of the pier fell into the sea just yet, but even the pier's Facebook page posted, well, we are a tad bit shorter today. I used to come down here in the, I guess it would have been the middle 60s as a kid, sleep on the pier, fish. A longtime Outer Banks staple, still standing, just a little less so. Sad in a way to see the destruction, but it's mother nature. The rain has stopped, but county officials say it is still too dangerous to drive. You can see water from a sound spilling onto major roadways. And Nag said, Andy Perotti, back to you.